Who are you? Josh Hanagarni, World's what? Strongest Librarian. That's right. So, all right, World's Strongest Librarian. How long have you been working out? Um, I have been training consistently for the last two, maybe three years. Okay. So, did you ever get injured before when you were working out? Yeah. Tell me about some of those injuries. Um, I had I had hurt my shoulders pressing. I had I had warmed I had worked out when it was cold with what I thought was an inadequate warm up at the time, or what I thought was an adequate warm up right. at the time. Right. Uh, just what I considered normal wear and tear. You play hard, you pay for it. Right. Now, besides injury, did you ever plateau? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, I relied on other people's information, and um, one of the reasons I plateaued was I would I would do a six week program for a magazine, and it would end after six weeks, and then I'd do the next program, and maybe I plateaued because it had run its course, and maybe it was because I was using too many programs, and I, I don't know. The structure right. never really worked for me. Right. So how often were you PRing when you were following other people's programs? Um. You know, I'd hit a few, normally at the start of a program when progress was easy and, and predictable. And it, right. would always, it was always fake, you know, but uh, probably, I don't know, what, a couple of years. Yeah. Ooh. May, maybe. I, I, I never had pinned down my goals. It was a big part of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, right? Yeah. So, before gym movement, before, before you knew about it, when you were just getting introduced to it, were you skeptical of it? I mean, because that's some pretty big claims. I, I was I was definitely skeptical. I would have been more skeptical if it hadn't been coming from Adam. Adam was already a known quantity to me. I right. knew the kind of progress he was making, and I right. took it seriously when he said, "I believe this will help you do do make the progress I'm making." Right. Mm -hmm. So, do you get injured now? No, I don't. No injuries. No, no. What about plateaus? No, it's been months. That's pretty incredible. I've been lifting for a couple of years, but that's a uh, that's not like somebody who's been lifting for, for, for 10 years. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I'm never not hitting a PR in a workout. So you're PRing every day? Every day. Every day. All right. So have there been any other interesting changes for you since you've uh, started gym movement? Mm -hmm. I have a really extreme case of Tourette's syndrome. You'd never know it. I, I, I spent the last 25 years trying to sit still for about five minutes. Could never do it. A couple weeks ago, I went for 14 hours without one tick. And people who have been around me, when it was bad, know how phenomenal phenomenal that is. Right. I just, as far as quality of life goes, I, I can't say anything better about this. And can, can doctors explain that? No, I think they could <laughs> probably try to sidestep it and ignore right. it. Um, right. But I, I put myself under the microscope with some people who helped me ask the right questions, and I, I don't need I don't need the doctors for this. Right. So, what would you be telling people? All right. All right, World's Strongest Librarian, what would you tell other people who were skeptical about starting Gym Movement Protocol? I wish you were here. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Um, I, I hope you'll join up. There's no reason not to, and it is so easy to try. This is something you're literally cheating yourself of if you were not going to try it. Right. Because are, are PRs hard to get every day? No, they're, they're not. Are they getting harder to get every day? No, they, they are not. Wow. All right. Well, and I'm getting pretty strong. Yeah. Now yeah, you're you're looking pretty manly there. World's strongest librarian. <laughs> Awfully manly. All right. Thank you. We'll talk to you later.